What up, gang? I'm fight with another video. I say I'm fight with another video. Make sure you hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Yes, I said subscribe. Turn on your post notifications. It's free. Do it for me. What up, gang? I'm back with another video. Let's get straight into it. But before we get into it, make sure y'all hit that like button. When you hit that like button, it help my channel and videos grow. I'm going to give y'all time to hit that like button. All right, let's get into it. BTB Savage Mama claimed that his former manager, Blue Chess, who was arrested for a murder Monday, dropped his location and conspired with the lead shooters to kill BTB Savage. Now, I posted this on my live last night, and I showed y'all where well, when she found out that BTB Savage manager was arrested for murder, another case that had nothing to do with BTB Savage, she spoke out on the situation. And this is what she had to say. She say, I reached out to you when my son was murdered and you ignored me, but I got your attention now. Now let me see if you sang soprano, alto, or bass. This was my son manager. Whole time he was slimed. One by one, we rounding y'all up. If you just would have spoke with me and got with me, I could have helped you. But nah, now you got double murder. Go on, eat that. I'm already on to the next. And my problem with this is the day he got arrested, you was just saying, look, if you would have just responded to my messages I sent you about my son, I would have helped you fight this double murder you facing now. But since you didn't respond, I'm not going to help you eat that. And then the next day she come out and say, that he's responsible for dropping her son location. He's responsible for conspiring with the alleged shooters that killed her son. So if he did all that to get your son killed, why you would have helped him on a double murder that had nothing to do with your son? Like, it doesn't make sense to me. But hey, maybe it's just me. Mama Savage also posted and said, my son murder has been solved and I'm entirely grateful to the Lord for it. I can rest my mind and my heart now. I broke down and cried so hard. They did him like that. My Lord and Savior, they conspired to kill him. It was them he called brother, friend, and manager. They dropped his location. All parties are being held accountable for the conspirators, to those who taunted him, to the shooters, to the media. And I rest in that. Lord, thank you. So many indictments, but God did it for me. God don't play about me. I just want to say this, man. If y'all been watching my videos I've been dropping with BTB Savage, y'all know I haven't really been seeing eye to eye with Mama Savage. And it's nothing like that. It's just the contradiction in her story and what she posts, you know. But I always, from the beginning, been saying, Mama, it's all love. So... I just want to send my condolences out to her again. I'm glad that she can finally rest on this situation. I'm glad that she got closure. Now she can finally start in the healing process. And I also stated that maybe Mama Savage was just blurting out stuff on Facebook because that's the way she coped with the situation of her son. You know, and you can't tell nobody how to grieve. And I kept saying that, you know, but the only thing that I wasn't seeing out of eye with Mama Savage was discrediting YouTubers and bloggers that's putting out facts. And just because she have got backlash for stuff that she posted, she erased it and denied that she ever posted it. That was my only issue with Mama. But like I said, Condolences to you, Mama. I'm glad you get getting closure. I'm glad it's time that you can start healing. She also said, Conspiracy, commit murder, murder for hire, murder in first degree, murder in second degree, murder in third degree, RICO, and cyberbullying. I guess these are all the charges that these people is going to get that's involved in BTB Savage murder. She also pushing for them to get the Penalty. So we're going to see how that turned out Mama Savage said Mama always got you baby I love and miss you so much 
my business partner, my child, I wasn't going to let them get away with taking you from me for no reason. They should have accepted the fact that their man's messed up and his own people left him on the floor. Now, 26 indictments going out. It was your first amendment to tell your story how you wanted to tell your story. Now, I'm going to put our story on a big screen. Man, do we have a story to tell? Now, I want to say a documentary of that is cool. A movie would be even cooler because let me tell you something. Just the storyline behind this whole situation is crazy. It's like a movie. This rapper who, you know, allegedly was a scammer, allegedly was selling marijuana, you know, make a sale that changed his life. Well, he had to defend himself and kill somebody. Now, the people who he killed, friends, want to get revenge. Now, he got to watch over his back and then he end up getting killed to allegedly be set up by his friends. And then it comes all out that it gets deep. What well, managers and all this stuff has something to do with his murder. That'd be a great movie. That'd be a great movie and by it's been a real situation that will open up a lot of people eyes i think this gonna be my last video even speaking on mama savage because like i said i don't want her to be done like mama duck was done and still continue to be done like people is attacking mama duck saying she's doing too much on the internet and btb savage mom was starting to get that same treatment so me as a person that i am i'm just gonna stop breaking her up after this video right here she also said god is so good i cried so hard yesterday because god prevailed this joy i have the world didn't give it to me and the world can't take it away justice is being served i pray the courts under my request for the penalty then she also spoke on the situation and alleged how the manager has something to do with it. Now y'all know she said that he basically conspired with the guys who killed BTB Savage, allegedly. Now, Blue Chess, which is the manager, he posted a post when BTB Savage died and it was a video of BTB Savage in the studio with him. And he said, we was just getting started. R.I.P. to the real scam God. Mama Savage say how they recorded a song 36 hours before he was murdered. That timestamp, screenshot, and text messages don't lie. You and the rapper are done. So I guess he had a feature with another rapper 36 hours before he died. And they was in the studio with the manager. So is she trying to say that the manager booked this feature with this rapper and the rapper was connected to the people that killed BTB Savage? So this whole feature, this whole studio session was a setup to get closer to BTB Savage, to know his location so they could watch and stalk him. Is that what she trying to say? I don't know, but details will come out later on and y'all know I'm going to make sure y'all receive it. She said, it's a lot of people in high places who love me. Miss Bonita, Lord, I thank you for your favor on my life. Now, we all know she connected to law enforcement. So I think she basically saying, look, them people that's yeah, over this situation right here, they going hard for me. And they gonna make sure that I get justice. Now y'all already know, the people in blue, the people that wear that badge, they call them a gang because they stick together. They ride for their brothers and sisters just like a gang. So this not far-fetched. And I truly believe her with this statement. She said, this is gonna be a long process, but I got patience to screw a butterfly. Y'all have no idea how happy I am. They conspired to kill him over jealousy and his money and his motion and retaliation. 26 dummies conspired to kill one man with one arm. You Wiggles is weak. 
Let me put this collage together so the world can stay away from all y'all, males and females. So she's saying out of them 26 people, it's males and females that will be rounded up in this conspiracy to kill her son. And that's another thing and the question I have, man. And this is the biggest question. Since all this information coming out, since all his friends is allegedly the people who had something to do with his murder and help the alleged killers kill BTB Savage, why? If BTB Savage killed the op, why is his friends helping the ops to kill him? It doesn't make sense to me. Why? She said his money, his music, his motion, long live BTB Savage. Documentary and movie coming soon. Hey man, like I said, I'ma say it for the hundredth time, man. Condolences go out to BTB Savage family and his mom. You know, this is an unfortunate situation. And when this situation first took place, I was like, man, it kind of hit me because I'm like, dude was killed because he was defending himself and because he was doing a little taunting as well as the other side, allegedly. But this is the cost of being in the streets. This is the cost of being a rapper. This is the cost of being affiliated with streets activities. Now, some may say BTB Savage wasn't a street dude, but he was indulging in street activities, allegedly. It's already been put out there, man. It's, it was never about a feature. BTB Savage allegedly was serving Omar some work, and they was there to rob him, allegedly. If BTB Savage would have never been indulging in selling marijuana, allegedly, this probably would have never happened. Even his homie, one of them, made a song telling him, bro, I told you to leave that alone and keep doing what you was originally doing. I told you to get out the streets. That wasn't for you. You ain't gotta be street to be in the streets. And sometimes that's these kind of guys downfall. You not street, but you in the streets. So you not aware and you very naive to things that can happen to you while you in the streets. He was bringing people to his crib to make transactions, allegedly. But his friends, multiple friends have came out and said, I was telling him to stop bringing people to his crib to do business. Stop bringing people to his crib, period. You don't know these people. Somebody that's really in the streets ain't bringing nobody to the crib. We all know that. Like I said, this is an unfortunate situation. As more details come out, y'all know I'm gonna get to y'all. Make sure y'all hit that like button, comment, subscribe, turn on all post notifications. It's free. Do it for me. Drive to my second channel, Music 101 Podcast, man. Hey, do me a favor. Look down right there to the bottom left and hit that like button for me. Hit that like button right there. I appreciate it. I continue watching. Promo alert. Promo alert. If you need promo, DM me on Instagram at Music 101 CEO. Music 101 CEO. $30 for one promo video on YouTube, $50 for three promo video on YouTube, $70 for six promo videos on YouTube, and $130 for 12 promo videos on YouTube. You trying to get your numbers up? You trying to get your business up? Hit me up at Music 101. See, the results is great.